years ago. A virus escaped, and everybody died. If you are out there, there is hope. These hordes of undead that aren't really there, Mila makes you believe them. And for that reason, I think she is the heart and soul of Resident Evil. Not only do you get the chills and the spills and the thrills, you also get characters that you can live vicariously through. We're so lucky to have the cast that we got for this movie. We gotta get out of this place. Arcadia will send help. No one's coming to get us, okay? No one. Mila really embodies the Alice character. She embodies Resident Evil. I mean, I don't think there could be a Resident Evil franchise without her. Ladies and gentlemen, Alice. <laughs> She's what started this franchise and really the root and the heart of it all. The more comfortable you get with a character and the more you know them and you know how they would react to certain situations, they almost become like a part of yourself. Mila does kick ass in the movie, and you know, the physical and the mental strength that that takes, it's admirable. She's kind of like one of the guys, and to find all of that in the same package, along with the beauty and the intelligence and the acting chops. She's as badass as they come, and then in between takes, I mean, she's the sweetest person you could ever imagine. We're just so lucky the actors involved are so cool, and Ali especially, because we're really a team. Awesome, that's my best, best acting of the day. It's incredible that Resident Evil put in these two fierce female characters. Both of them will survive under any situation. Where you look at Alice, she is more of the mythical figure, where Claire is the human component. Claire really had become a reluctant leader in the last movie. That's something that's a natural instinct in her. It's something that she needs to do. Claire Redfield, a real fan favorite from number three. And we've introduced another character who was not seen previously, but is in the games, which is Chris Redfield, played by Wentworth Miller from Prison Break. And when I first got the script, I called up my agent and I said, it has to be some kind of practical joke. <laughs> and you meet my character in prison, and the first thing out of his mouth is, I know a way out of here. I know a way out of this place. I thought his work on Prison Break was fantastic, and I was really excited to meet him. So we worked together a couple times before we started shooting the movie, and it's amazing because we're similar in a lot of ways, and we both related to each other on a lot of levels. I'd never seen one of the movies, and I'd never played the video game, so I had no understanding of who Chris Redfield was or how he fit into this particular universe. And only after I started doing research did I get that he was such a critical part of the video games. He's sort of mysterious. When you meet with him, you don't know if he's necessarily good or if he's perhaps bad. So he adds a kind of mystery to the film, which I think is important. It's been years since Chris and Claire laid eyes on each other, so there's this tremendous moment of shock and recognition. Claire? What? But at the same time, it's also Resident Evil. It becomes about these characters being in conflict. 